sports season. Just me, the TV, and all the snacks I can eat. Yes, it's a great day for an exciting game of badminton. They got the bad part right. Hey, it's a fine day for the healing games. I love the healing games. Better stock up on some more munchies. Now, where are my haggis-flavored pork rinds? This concludes our free preview. If you want to see the Halen games, call your local cable service and pay up today. No! Me Halen game! Congratulations, Mr. Walrus. You're an official cable subscriber. Yippee dippee. I uh, get a bonus for any referrals, Mr. Walrus. Maybe you could have some friends over to enjoy the Highland Games. Did you say Highland Games? <laughs> mm. No Highland Games for me. Yours the Swedish channel, yeah. Hey, buddy, can you put your cable on sale for a true Scottish patriot? The Highland Games are the pride of me people. Wait, I've watched them since I was a wee scraper of a twig pecker. No discounts on my watch, Red. You pay full price like everybody else. Only two hours till the games, and I can't afford full price. I need cable. Oh, yoy, the Swedish channel. Hmm? Excuse me, Mr. Walrus, but we forgot one crucial part of your cable, the black box. All righty then, Mr. W, we'll phone you from the cable office. You tell us when your parabolic receiver is giving you the best reception. Hello? Okay, Mr. W. I just need you to scan through the channels and stop on 47. Stop right there. And, uh, could you turn up the volume? Now, don't move for, say, oh, a week while we make some very technical adjustments. Just doing a service check, Mr. Walrus. How's your cable service going, huh? The cable's still not coming in. What? Just, uh, <laughs> sampling. Woodpecker! It's a federal offense to impersonate a man of the cable. I'll be keeping a sharp eye on you, Red. That cable service is licensed to Mr. Walrus's TV and his TV only. Hmm. If the cable's wired to Wally's TV, that's just okie dokie with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Neighbors should share and share alike. Welcome to the Swedish channel's Cooking with Meatballs, followed by the hit game show, Oh Boy, Who Wants a Green Card? <laughs> Today's recipe is entitled Cooking with Plutonium. We will make the average wiener dog into the uber wiener dog. First, we must boil the water, but not just any water. Use Swedish Fjord bottled water. Available for a short time only to use Swedish channel viewers for only $30 a month. Call the number on your screen and order now. Now, pour two cups of Swedish Fjord water into the pan and bring it to a boil. Next, Ooh, look! The, the alphabet's in my super spelling out a message. Don't hit the good-looking woodpecker. Such flavorful yoy from such a small I've got to watch the games. Wait a minute. The cable is registered to Wally, so the cable can only be watched in Wally's house. Not a problem. <laughs> hmm. This is odd. <laughs> Today's simulcast will cover all sorts of events from the... This is yours. <laughs> 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 Forget 
cable, satellite is the best reception on the planet. Three, two, one. And the best part is, it's free. get to watch the Highland Games. You're under arrest for violation of airspace, violation of international satellite treaties, violation of local and federal zoning laws, and for generally having an all-out bad idea. You can't arrest me. I can't, but he can. Oh, boy! We get the Highland Games! The only games in here are chess by mail and a little diversion the boys call, Hey, what are you staring at? Now for my version of what are you staring at, the Highland Games. <laughs> Could you at least turn up the volume? Day. Remember, food lovers, souffles are fragile little things. They need a calm, quiet environment, or they could collapse. One pepper! I know. I'll throw a bagpipe appreciation day party. The likes of wets the Scottish has never seen. What pepper? I heard that! Your lease specifically says no parties. They're noisy, and I'm trying to bake a souffle, which requires quiet! No parties! Now, how can I have a party with a pooper like Meanie around? Sometimes, if you want to beat him, you gotta join them. Inspector Decibel, noise police. Noise police? We're affiliated with the CIA, the FBI, the EIEIO, and all other abbreviated government agencies. Hmm, the government. That's right, ma'am. You'll tip the woodpecker. We got a major file on this dirty bird. <laughs> I'm going to need your help to silence this noisemaker once and for all. Well, I'll do anything it takes, Inspector. I'll watch him like a hawk. Catch him in the act. Then I'll grill him like a steak. I like your spunk. Maybe when this is over, you and me. Oh, it's Inspector. Stay in here and keep Woody on round-the-clock watch. Do not leave your post no matter what you see, ma'am. And then report everything back to me tomorrow. Is that clear? Affirmative, Inspector! <laughs> Party time! <laughs> oh, surveillance is a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Party Central? Book me your all-termite band and deliver the biggest party tent you got. Party Central. Two, three, four! You don't understand me! You think that I'm a freak! And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a king! Great! Did you bring the tent? About. That treehouse you're renting me has termites. Rare musical termites. You don't understand me. You think that I'm a freak. And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a king. And tenting the house to get rid of the termites cost me $500. Two, three, four. Maybe you should go away for the day until the termites are 
taken care of. Musical termites? Ha! There's something fishy going on, and I'll get to the bottom of it. That woman's like a bad rash. She just keeps coming back. Whoa! Oh, Inspector, am I glad to see you. We need to get inside that tent. Good thinking. Come on. Follow this stream. Hang a left on Willow. Make a U-turn on third, turn right on first, and come right up inside that woodpecker's elevator shaft. Got it? Good. Go. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Nothing, you and put the topper to this. <laughs> Already, I will. <laughs> Minnie's coming. I say, no more beating around the bush to catch this woodpecker, Ms. Meanie. You mean? Yep, we're going in loud and we're going in proud. But Inspector Decibel. I don't know how to parachute! There's only two rules. Do this. Don't do this. Got it? Good. I'll have you down the chimney before you can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> I've got you now, Woodpeck! Huh? When I get my hands on that little party animal! must drive 50 grueling miles through the city streets. Step right up, all my adoring fans, and I'll go the best driver on the track. Mwah! Redfoot, I'm an autograph. Redfoot, good luck to you. Hey, funny little man. Do you want my autograph? <laughs> it's 20 bucks. Nah, I'm here for Leadfoot. <laughs> Now pay me 20 bucks. <laughs> Wowee! A 12 gerbil engine with all the bells and whistles. <laughs> and these tires will grip the track tighter than a grandma pinching cheeks on Christmas. Sounds like you know your cars, Woody. Ah, you don't know squat, Woodpecker. That car's a hunk of junk. And Leadfoot couldn't drive his way out of a parking lot. Oh, no! What have I done? Tough break, dead foot. Show that motorhead nobody messes with the beak. Let me make this up to you, Leadfoot, by driving for you. Well, you sure do know a lot about cars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, if you could just keep the pole position, maybe my car's undefeated record could stand another day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the race has a new driver. Rookie racer Woody Woodpecker. He's behind the wheel of the legendary. Now newly painted car number nine. Huh? Hey, that car has fleas. And 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 that 
driver. He ain't even got his learner's permission. <laughs> oh, that's no fair. I wasn't ready. The Cross City Challenge is on. <laughs> Holy overhead jams. Dan Verdulli has taken the lead. Mm, I think I look my best in the lead. Oh, actually, I look my best in a televised dinner movie. <laughs> You see, when I was young, I had a really traumatic old, like, childhood and whatnot. Which is, of course, what has pushed me to be as fast and articulated as I am today, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. This doesn't look like regulation racing to me. <laughs> Looks like Woody Woodpecker is out of the lead indefinitely. Go, Dooley, go! Go, Dooley, go! He's me! He's me! Who's the man? Who's the man? I guess that would be me! Uh-huh! My streak is lost. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine streak alive. <laughs> Dr. Rachel, I, I can't hide it anymore. I think it's time I told you how I feel about you. Tune in next week to see the dramatic conclusion on Woodpeck ER. Wow! The medical field is so exciting! The action, the drama. Nurse Winnie to emergency? No. Dr. Winnie to brain sir? No, no. Chief of Staff Winnie to the OR? Stat! 
I'm gonna find out about a career in medicine today! Uh, but boss, I'm so close. All I need is a proper subject to clone. Well, don't worry, boss. I'm on top of it. Yeah, I'm a dead man. If I don't find a subject to clone right away, I'm washed up, finished. Where, oh, where will I find a volunteer? Huh? Hi! I want to work here. What are the odds? It's Winnie Woodpecker, and I'd like to become... That's fine, that's fine. If you'll just step into my lab, we'll run a few tests. <laughs> All right, listen up. This is a precise scientific instrument designed for only one purpose. Of course, <clears throat> I wouldn't expect a layman to understand. Why, no, sir. How could a layman be expected to know about a linear instrument designed to test the effect of the harmonic resonance on the rhombic area with an emphasis on the cordial nerve group? All right, then, let's get started. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Oh. oh, Doctor! My first medical emergency! Oh. Test complete, Doc. Am I ready to work in the ER? Uh, let's move on to another test, shall we? This test will measure your brain activity and IQ. Please answer all my questions as quickly as possible. Ready? Ready! What is two plus two? Four. What's the definition of plethora? A lot. What is mitosis? The division of a cell nucleus. What is the, the Ptolemaic system? The system of Ptolemy in which the Earth is at the center of the universe. How did you get that so fast? Is this giving you the answers? Give me that. Now, ask me a question. Go ahead, ask me. Mm, what does that lever do? This lever... That is dangerous! Uh, Doctor, this will be perfect training if I decide to go into the physical therapy department. Just keep running. I have to find out if you're a good enough subject to clone. What did you say? I, 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 I said phone! Phone! I have to test your hearing on the phone. <laughs> on Woodpeck ER. As I always say, when in doubt, improvise. <laughs> That's inflation for ya. Yes, another medical miracle performed by Winnie Woodpecker at Oh. Ooh, when can I use these, Doctor? Just get behind the machine. All right, Winnie, this should be painless. Winnie! Oh, I knew I should have finished medical school. Huh? I'm ready for my close-up, Doctor. <gasps> I, 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 I exam. That's it. I exam. Please read the top line. You. No, you read it. I? <sighs> yes, you. Now go ahead. Why? Because I said, okay? Okay. <sighs> Never mind. Let's do a cat scan and see what's going on in that head of yours. Oh, no, doctor. I'm allergic to cats. There's no cat here. That's just what it's called. A cat scan. But I sneeze, swell up, and itch all over. Look, CAT stands for Computer Axial Tomography. There is no feline in this machine. I'll prove it to you. Doctor, now that you see I can handle any 
any emergency situation that arises, what department will I be working in? Emergency room? The ER? Recovery? Operating theater? Whatever we do had better be in a hurry. <laughs> After all, my time is valuable and, uh... Nothing! Nowhere! <gasps> I want you out of this hospital! Well, I'm not so sure I even want to work in a hospital that has the likes of you on the staff. Harsh words, but a doctor has to assert herself. I'm going all the way to the top, Doctor. That's not the elevator! Oh, I'll be blamed for everything! I gotta get out of here! Oh, no you don't, Doctor! You're not well enough to leave our care! Doctor Winnie Woodpecker, meet Nurse Winnie in the OR! Hello, Nurse Minnie. Who's your friend? He doesn't look well. Right this way, Daddy Boy. <laughs> in order to work in a hospital, you've got to have patience. <laughs> This life of leisure is wearing me down. What I need is a vacation. Hello, travel agency? I'd like to book a vacation, preferably somewhere warm. I've saved my whole life for this trip, so money is no object. You heard me, a nice long holiday. What a swell setup. Friend. You look like you could use a vacation. Who are you? Point Buzzy, traveling vacation salesman. Glad to know you, chum. Glad to know you. Yes, sir. You have just won a free vacation to the Joyman Polynesian Islands. With a one-time processing fee of $5,000, you will be well on your way to the island vacation of your dreams. Hmm, German Polynesian, eh? Well, how come I never heard of them? Why, uh, that's because uh, it's an island and they don't have any phones. It, it keeps away the riffraff. How quaintly rustic. Well, I have to think about it. There'll be girls, sport. Aw, oh, go on with you. Not just any girls, chum. Hula frows. Hula frows? What's a hula frow? Woo -hoo! There's just the business of the five grand. Then you're good to go. Hula frows, here I come. Okay, let's get this crate off the ground. Please, don't annoy the pilot there and take off. This I gotta see. Contact! Buzz the ground control. We are experiencing turbulence. Mayday! Mayday! Geronimo! Join us now for thrilling tropical high dive spear fishing in our exotic fish tank. So long, sucker! Look what I caught! Oh, swell. And guess what? For a hundred bucks more, those can be cooked up in a customized culinary concoction by our very own Chef F.E. New. Chef F.E. New? Yeah, if he knew you were coming, he'd have baked a cake. Hmm. Hey, you. Where's this so-called luau? 
What luau? This luau. The one with the hula frows. Right this way, my good fella. <laughs> hula frows. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's silly. <laughs> Surf's up, Wahini Schnitzel. <laughs> more ice, more ice, man. Where do you keep the ice? <laughs> we want in the rotten pineapple. Yes? What's going on in there? Sorry, invitation only. Oh boy, the song, the thrills, the hula frows. What a luau! And I owe it all to you, pal. This is the best vacation I've ever had in my life. Wait a minute. There ain't no luau. There ain't no vacation. And I'll prove it. But... Hey, let me back in! Beat it! I'm taking over this vacation! Oh, yeah? Well, I paid for it! There's your money back! Deal's off! Now get lost! <laughs> report you to the German Polynesian Travel Bureau. German Polynesian? <laughs> you go ahead and do that, chum. I made it all up. There ain't no such a thing. Hello, German Polynesian Travel Bureau? I'd like to report someone. Yo! Yeah, some buzzard tried to sell me a scam vacation. Hula frows here I come. Crowbar, Jack, the, the dynamite. What am I gonna get next? How about five to ten in the pokey? No! <laughs> <laughs> water, water. I need some water for my car. Hmm, guess I'm hoofing it to town. But what will I bring the water back in? I must now grant you three wishes. Woo-wee! But I reserve the right to change modifier determine the nature, content, and quality of said wishes. Your sign here, initial here, stamp here, fill in the blank, carry the two, 6.7 APR. I'll sign whatever you want. And now my first wish is for some water to get me and my baby back on the road. Then I'll think about what else I want, Genie. <laughs> Hmm, this simple glass of water is not good enough for my master's car. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> hmm, what I am thinking is my master's water should be fresh. It should be the freshest water in the world. From a Swedish fjord. Maybe we... You're the worst genie I've ever met. I wish I was the genie. I'd show you how it was done. Oh man, I wasted my wish. But hey, this place has everything I could have wished for. 
And you know, some guys can't pull off the harem pants look. <laughs> Okie dokie, Woodpecker. Fine. Now I get three fishes, yeah? Sounds like a lot of work to me, buddy. Get lost. Give me that. <laughs> this is the life. Ah! Ah. I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. It's all about you, isn't it? All right, I'll give you anything your heart desires. <laughs> I wish to be a new me. You mean a makeover? Yeah, I want a new head of hair, a washboard stomach, and, and I want to be reigning king of Sweden. Your wish is my command. A new head of hair! <laughs> a washboard stomach! <laughs> Now, you're the reigning king of Sweden. Good hair. I get you. Yeeny Woodpecker! Ah! Hmm. How will I ever find my magic lamp? Eureka! I wish for, hmm, a three-story house. Oh, joy, my own three-story house. A dream come true. Yeah, and I'll give you a personal tour. This is the first story, Goldilocks. Check out these comfortable chairs. No, too stuffy. <laughs> No, too conformy. <laughs> what do you know? Just right. How about some porridge? No, too hot. Too cold. Hide it. I you. Huh? Hmm. What the? Having fun yet? Yeah. Liar! Now listen up, Pinocchio. The only thing for little wooden boys to worry about in the real world is woodpeckers. And here's your third story. Ugh, not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Oh no. To some relax. Hey, where'd my mansion in a lamp go? Oh, Woodpecker. Hey, give me that. I believe it's time for my third wish, and I wish to be the Yeenie again. Now I get a wish, see? And I wish I was the Yeenie again. No, I want to be the Yeenie. No, I'm the Genie. No, I'm the Yeenie. No, me, 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 me,
Legend has it that King Tut's court jester, Easy What's Up With That, stole a fortune from Tut and hid it in his own booby trap tomb, which has been lost for centuries. It's said to hold a laughing curse that will reduce anyone who tries to take the treasure into a giggling fool. <laughs> Egypt is so fascinating. Oh, if I were an archaeologist, I'll bet I could find that lost tomb and become world famous. Oh, my last quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the hieroglyphic stone that will point the way to the hidden tomb and all its treasure. Now, when is the expert coming to help me with the translation? What are you doing? What kind of expert are you? I have spent five long years of painful digging here. Five years? No wonder. Look at the tools you've been using. And look, how do you expect to pick up all this sand? <laughs> You've got this vacuum on reverse. Vacuums are for cleaning. How did you find it so quickly? Oh, I just knew where to dig. Ooh, look, Professor. Is he the court jester? Yeah, Easy. I asked you first, who is he? No, Easy. That's what I'm asking you. Is he the court jester? He's the court jester, Easy. Yeah, is he? What's up with that? Exactly! Easy, what's up with that? Yeepers. Mm, I don't have time for this. I must explore the tomb. Ooh. Exploration of a tomb. This is my expedition. I lead the way, and what I find is all mine. Okay? Okay. Professor, be careful! It's common knowledge that pyramids are booby trapped. And don't forget about the laughing curse! <laughs> booby traps. Curses. <laughs> a bunch of tourist trash. <laughs> 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 Professor! Professor! Professor, is everything all right? <laughs> oh, how exciting! A chance to decipher real hieroglyphics. Hmm, from ancient times on, every picture has told a story. Yeah, like where the treasure is. A court jester would know all kinds of jokes. Let's see. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? <laughs> wow, that really is the oldest joke in the world. <laughs> hmm, she's the expert. The treasure must be that way. <laughs> The treasure is this way. Or maybe it goes up. Enough for the nibble nibble. Mayday! Mayday! My expedition has been cursed by Haveco! Send help! Now! Hmm... No... Wait a minute... Push for treasure! Oh my! If there's treasure, it must be in there!
He's finally mine. <laughs> Here it is, my first day as an archaeologist, and I found all this. First day? No, no. This is my life's work. My archaeological goal. The treasure of Easy What's Up With That is mine! <laughs> Pies in the face, punchy punchy gloves, piranhas, suction darts, and a mummy. I did the chicken cross the road to find my discovery. <laughs> yep, you're right to call this in. The guy is a wacko. <laughs> no, no, uh, she's the wacko. <laughs> she's the one. Can't you tell? <laughs> he must have caught the laughing curse. I tried to warn him. Championship West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Now, let's see if I've got everything. Chips, soda, water, fruit smoothie, ice mango surprise, peanut butter crackers, T-bone steak, microwavable cheesy wheeze, fan, heater, room beater, pillow blanket, beak warmer. Perfect. Ah, everything I need for complete comfort. Hmm. Huh? Ow! It's just a feather. to the 357th annual West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Talk about perfect timing.
feathers are from birds. That's it. <laughs> Winter sure coming early this year. Whoa. Me and my feathers are heading south before it gets any colder. Gotcha. <laughs> She makes her way to the winner's box. Just in time to see Molly take home the gold. Hmm, too hard. Hmm. Ah, now this is living. <laughs> Shall we say 50 bucks? I'll take these two on a cruise they'll never forget. 50 bucks? And uh, did I mention I'd be taking the kids off your hands for the whole day? A whole day, huh? Hmm. It's a steal. I mean a deal. Thanks, Uncle Woody. See ya. Bye. Bye. Rest and relaxation. Here I come. <laughs> and little woodpeckers, there you go. So long, suckers. <laughs> Wait for us, Captain Buzz. Hey. Here, wait up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, grab the sail, not it. I'm the captain of this here boat. Aye, aye, captain. What's our first order, sir? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling chilly. Get me my coat. <laughs> hey, maybe this ain't gonna be so bad after all. Now swap the deck. Uh, there's no mop, Captain Buzz. 
A good sailor learns how to make do. Now, Mop! <laughs> eh, this is a life. Oh, cabin kids! I'd like my sushi now. I hate being a bait. <laughs> The bait's better than being the sushi. <laughs> this crew stinks. It could be worse. How? We could be caught in a horrible storm. Uh, is he okay? Yeah, just let him sleep. So what do we do now? I know, I know, I know. Let's build a two-man shelter to protect us from wild animals. Yeah, just like we learned in Woodpecker Scouts. What about him? I say he's on his own. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <gasps> oh, where am I? It's Captain Buzz. Toss me down a line, sailors. Uh, we'd love to help you, Captain Buzz. But this house only holds two. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the mountain lions bite. Mountain lions. What's on the menu for breakfast? You gotta fish for your own food, Captain Buzz. Uh, let me use one for bait, then? <laughs> Can't be wasting precious food for bait. Gotta use yourself for bait. What? Forget about it. <sighs> I'll get my food somewhere else. <laughs> I can just... Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll be the bait. Marinara, please. Let's cut something. Nope, something caught Buzz. Hey, look! We're, We're safe! safe. We're, safe. We're safe! Uncle Woody, Uncle Woody! Whoa! We knew you'd find us. What happened to Captain Buzz? Captain Creep, you mean? He didn't look out for you? We did just fine without his kind of help. <laughs> Over here! Wait for me! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get me out of here! Hurry! Get this tub moving, you two! You heard Captain Buzz. Now move! Sure, Captain Buzz. We'll get the boat moving. Under one condition. And what's that? That you swab the deck. Oh, no. No, no, no. No! Back, back off. I'm allergic to being a seafood food. Ah! 